Uh, and let me tell you something about Nikola Jokic that you may not know. The guy's a horse lover, always has been since his childhood in the Serbian city of Sambor. He's big into harness racing, the trotters. And since he's back in his native land, now that the Nuggets season is over, if you want to find him, you got to head to the stables. And that's where a contingent of Denver brass delivered the Joker his second straight Kia MVP trophy. And after that, I had a chance to speak with him. Nikola Jokic, uh, look, I'm going to have to go back through the record books to double check on this and make sure, but I believe this is the first time in NBA history uh, that a Kia MVP honor has been given out at a Serbian horse stable. I think it's the first time. I think it's the, <laughs> I think it's the first and only time. Uh, hey, what was it like, though, to see that contingent uh, from your team? Uh, Josh Kroenke there, Tim Conley there, Michael Malone there. What was uh, what was that whole thing like? I mean, it's amazing because actually we were doing the me and my trainer, the horse trainer, we doing a, we were doing a, uh, like a fast workout, and we were like with like a regular day. Actually, it was different because we were doing afternoon, and he told me like, let's do it afternoon, and uh, because. We, I was like, why? Because we usually do it in the morning, but I said, okay, maybe he went fishing. And I came, I came back in the stable and uh, um, everybody were here. I was like, actually I saw my godfather in the car and why the hell he's doing here? <laughs> and then uh, I saw everybody in the shirts and uh, I saw Felipe, I saw coach, I saw Josh, I, I, I saw everybody, um, I saw Nick. <laughs> and uh, it was really emotional. It was really emotional moment for me. Of course, uh, it's. I mean, I think nobody ever came here, so I think it's actually amazing. Tim was here, and everybody. So I think it's a it's once once in a lifetime. Hey, uh, look, I know that you have said in the past that you don't give much thought to winning awards like this, but when it when you look at where you stand now. You're the 13th guy to win it back to back. You're the fifth center to win it back to back. I mean, you're talking uh, Bill Russell, you're talking Wilt, Kareem, Moses Malone, and you. Uh, he didn't win. No, he did not win uh, back to back. I just want to say that I'm joking. He I know that. Him. Whatever he wants to do, I'm joking. He's a good player. I just want to make a joke. Okay. Love, but what's, what's it mean to you? I mean, I think it's a great, like, I don't now, I don't think about it, but probably when I'm, I'm, I'm old, fat, and uh, grumpy, hopefully I'm going to remember and, uh, and, and I'm going to tell my kids. That <laughs> back in the days, I was really good playing basketball. Uh, and uh, I think, I mean, they, everybody knows that I'm, I'm the same guy, so uh, hopefully I'm going to stay the same after this. And... Um, just to, to be in that company with Wilt and, and all the guys that made history in, in this league and in, in this sport. Um, I mean, just that tell, just that tells a lot. So um, it means a lot, you know, just to, some kind of legacy, let's say like that. Hey, speaking of back in the day, um, got our hands on a, an old uh, ID badge from when you were just, uh, I, I guess, eight years old or something. So when you're that age, where are, you getting, where are you getting your inspiration from at that point? Who are you looking at who's playing ball at that time that you're trying to model your game after you want to be like? Ernie, in that, in that age, I was not thinking about playing basketball. I'm not going to lie. I was here. I was here in this table. I was cleaning the boxes. I was, 
cleaning the horses. So in that age, I was not thinking about basketball at all. I'm not gonna lie. So uh, actually, I quit. I quit playing basketball when I was like 13, 14, and I was here for like six months. And then my dad needs to convince my trainer to put me back in, in basketball. So, I mean, it, it was a whole process of getting me back in basketball. When you did start taking the game seriously, uh, who were you modeling it after? I mean, when I came into NBA, let's say like that, uh, of course, Tim Duncan. I think he's a great, great, great player. Of course, someone you you can look up to. He was the the perfect model of perfect idol. Let's say like that. But I, I was always looking for the for the for the something like Dirk, Lamarcus Aldridge, uh, Boris Diaw, those kind of guys that are not flashy. Let's say like that. Oh, dog is dying right there. <laughs> but he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He didn't. He did not die. <laughs> Never know what's going to happen when we uh, when we do an interview from the horse stable uh, with the MVP of the NBA. So, uh, look, have you along those? I know you have this love for horses, uh, and I know it's kind of a, in a place of, of solace for you, and it's kind of a, a peaceful place for you. Uh, would you consider? You know, we just watched the Kentucky Derby here, won by the longest long shot of all time. Do you always consider yourself a long shot? Of course. I mean, if it's, if it's not me, who it is it? You know, I'm coming from this city. Like, it's. I think it's really. I mean, there is no way that I, I will come to NBA and play basketball. You know, from this city and from from this table, basically. And then now I'm playing. I'm playing basketball in the best league in in in, in the world and playing on a high level. So, I mean, it's, I think it's remarkable just to, just to be in the NBA and then just to, let's say, did what we did as the Denver Nuggets. I think it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty historical. Let's say uh, from, from, the, from the bubble when, they, when we came back two times from 3-1 and then the whole things, every year we are growing, growing as a team. I think uh, it's uh, something that uh, I will look up. To, I will look up uh, when I'm when I'm older and say like, we did a really really tough thing and really great thing. Hey, last thing is you may not know this. You know we've told we've told people about how how much you uh, you enjoy horses. We I you know I sit next to the world's biggest jockey. Um, you may not be aware of Shaquille O'Neal's riding ability, um, and so. <laughs> Just, a, just another piece of common ground for you two big men to discuss next time you get together. Maybe we can race. That's going to be a great, great thing. But <laughs> like I said, he's a, he's a he's a jockey. I'm a driver. Hopefully, I'm going to be a driver one year. So uh, I'm just going to enjoy my horse harness racing and my <laughs> trotters because that's my passion. And that's that's. I mean, people around me know where I spend my days. Hey, we congratulate you, Nicola, on your, uh, on your second straight MVP award. Um, continued success and enjoy, enjoy your, your time off and enjoy that little baby daughter too. Thank you, I will. I know I will. <laughs>